Hello there everyone, welcome back to a brand new Doctor Who video. Obviously, today I'm going to talk about my five favorite Doctor Who quotes ever. Like, you know, it's not going to be a catchphrase like the 10th Doctor has Alonzi or the 9th Doctor has Fantastic or, you know, the 10th Doctor also has Brilliant. And, um, you know, I'm going to give you like a few really great quotes from Doctor Who, like sentences, like dialogues, right? about the doctor and what he stands for because most of these um, most of these quotes or these uh, you know sentences are spoken by one specific doctor but that's because he's a very wise man and you're probably wondering which doctor that is I'll tell you in just a sec but all right let's talk about the first quote which is going to be from the 12th doctor from heaven sent as you come into this world something else is also born this quote to be honest is very philosophical i would say there's something a hidden meaning uh, you know around it and i think that's really brilliant and this is obviously from my favorite episode of doctor who and it's pretty cool so there we go let's listen to a bit more never faster never slower always coming you will run it will walk in this episode, the Doctor is stuck in a gigantic castle and a death or a person or a monster is chasing him constantly. But that monster is very slow and takes his time to eventually catch up with the Doctor. And it's kind of a metaphor for death, like I said, or a metaphor, obviously, for the hybrid, which is a Doctor Who, I guess, hybrid character, which is a part Time Lord, part Dalek, and the Doctor is talking about why death is coming for him eventually if you think because she's dead i'm weak then you understand very little if you were any part of killing her and you're not afraid then you understand nothing at all so for your own sake understand this i am the doctor i'm coming to find you and i will never ever stop so yes that was a great monologue about you know death and life itself but the next quote or next monologue is going to be from the 12th doctor again yes very cool and it's his it's kind speech from i believe world enough and time and the doctor falls episodes there we go winning is that what you think it's about i'm not trying to win i'm not doing this because i want to beat someone or because i hate someone or because because I want to blame someone? It's not because it's fun. God knows it's not because it's easy. It's not even because it works, because it hardly ever does. I do what I do because it's right. Because it's decent. And above all, it's kind. It's just that. I mean, this list is in, in a non-specific order, and I think this is one of the hardest Doctor Who lines ever, and hardest monologues ever in Doctor Who, because it's about being right and being kind and doing the right thing to be kind. You know, the Doctor is talking to the two of the same, uh, two of the same, you know, um, you know, characters of the same character. Wait, yeah, you know, he's talking to two different versions of the same character. There we go. So obviously that's the Master. So these two you know this woman and this man are the same characters you know is the same character uh, or she but different bodies right and the doctor is talking to them like okay join me be good be nice just for once join me and do the right thing and obviously the master is being evil and bad always and you know it doesn't really end well for the doctor's monologue yeah so the master doesn't listen to the doctor's monologue and just walks away I mean, this was a really hard quote, and I think, you know, think of this quote every day because I'm, I want to be kind, I want to help where I can. Is that enough? Maybe, maybe not, but it's just something in my nature. I just want to help where I can, and even if it takes, like, you know, so long to eventually help someone. This, this is, this is, this, that's my spirit, man, and this quote really had me by that. So, anyway, the next quote is going to be from the 11th Doctor. Hey, why not, right? Let's switch up a bit. Um, so, this is his quote from the Rings of Agaton. Agaton episode. There we go. Aronzi. I marked the passing of the Time Lords. I saw the birth of the universe and I watched as time ran out. Moment by moment until nothing remained. No time. 
No space. Just me. I walked in universes where the laws of physics were devised by the mind of a mad man. So in this episode, the 11th Doctor needs to stop a parasitic planet-eating thing, <laughs> I guess. So he does this great speech, and as you can see, he can tear up a bit. So that's really ridiculous wild, you know. He's such a great, you know, speech man. The Doctor is just a great speech man. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Wake up, wake up, and let the clock of life cling to your bones, cling to your bones. Yeah. You know, that's amazing song, man. All right, Rings of a Cat'n, brilliant episode, and a fantastic score too. Song, absolutely fantastic. And the speech itself, it's wow. But let's talk about war. War, is it just a game or not? We'll never know, or maybe we'll do. When the 12th Doctor is talking about it in his speech. Oh, that was a great transition. All right, Paul. Wow. You will never understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of course I understand. I mean, do you call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. As you can hear and as you can see, you can literally hear and see the, the heartbreak of the Doctor. The Doctor has been through a lot. He's been through different planets, you know. He's been through different people. And he's been also fighting in a war, a big war, the Time War, which literally changed his character forever. He was a responsible one, I would say, and he was the one who ended it all by destroying his own home world, which is kind of sad. But Peter Capaldi absolutely delivers with this speech, and the Twelfth Doctor is the speech doctor, and that's great. And from a very serious moment, we go to a very emotional moment too, um, well, especially for me. Because the next one, and there's a reason why I placed it at the last place, I guess. Because this one, the next one, is the 12th Doctor Regeneration speech. Ta no! <laughs> this, this speech is one speech that keeps rambling up in my head. It's, it keeps on, you know, cycling through and there are quotes, there are sentences in this speech that are just wow. Like, like I said, Peter Cavalli is the... Is, is the speech doctor and he delivers this one quite good like holy shit like the the last three sentences that he says i i want to, i want probably I, I want a tattoo of it i don't know i don't care because <laughs> he's, he's fantastic doing it and those things that he's going to say are goddamn great for his next regeneration for the jody whitaker's uh, regeneration or you know from this scotsman he becomes a woman and that's no, very different era too, new writers too, and it's a very different thing. And the literally, literally the things he says are for his next regeneration. And I love those speeches that he literally talk to the next one, right? So let's listen to it because it's beautiful. I've got a few things to say to you. Basic stuff first. Never be cruel, never be cowardly. And never ever eat pears. Remember, hate is always foolish. And love is always wise. Never fail to be kind and never try to be nice or something. I don't know. <laughs> Along those lines, you know, the speech is fantastic. And I really want to talk about it because the Twelfth Doctor is my favorite Doctor. And he's a very, you know, philosophical man he literally his main goal in his life was to be a good man <laughs> and that was that was his purpose and standing there in his TARDIS all alone had he had friends but they all vanished or they all died or they got turned into a cyberman and that's really sad for him because you know i think he found acceptance and he's ready to carry on the next doctor or to the next Doctor, right? Who will eventually also regenerate into another Doctor. And that's how Doctor Who works. 
There is no specific ending to a doctor. There's no specific beginning to a next one. It's just one character, but just different lifetimes, right? And I really want to show you this last bit because I think it's one of the most beautiful Doctor Who scenes ever. Laugh hard. Run fast. Be kind. And with that great speech, I'll end the video right here. Wow. I mean, who would ever thought Doctor Who was that philosophical? I mean, like I say, and like I always say to people, watch Doctor Who, it's fucking insane. So that Doctor Who, oh boy, oh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> it's really great. And like I said, it's probably the best TV show ever, but you know, it is, it is. I mean, do you know a sci-fi science fiction series that has been existing for almost 60 years now? No, probably not, because it's Doctor Who, that damn it. <laughs> and you know, Doctor Who is full of those great quotes, especially in the newer version, the 2 is that 5 till now version, because writers are, you know, better, you know, at what they do, and things aren't that complicated anymore, right? Although it's not true, it's always complicated, but, you know, writers are, are you know, have been through the, 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 two, uh, the 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, and tens, and people are, you know, on, you know, the, 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 Emotional train, I would say, like you know, our world now is full of people, right? All shapes and sizes, all genders, and and you know, things they like, right? And it's pretty important that people can always try to characterize with a specific character, like the doctor here. And it's great, it's great, even if you want to be friendly, if you want to be different, there's always one quote somewhere in Doctor Who that is for you. And that's the most important thing ever. So all right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Or should I say, doctor, I let you go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's too emotional, man. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye-bye.